Good evening, everybody. I hope that you're checking in with us to live at 5. This is our first show that we're doing, and I'm here today with Pastor Rodney Kyles. And Pastor Rodney, I'm excited to have you with me today. And, um, you know, we know there's a lot going on in the world right now. There's a lot of activity, a lot of negative activity, a lot of positive things, you know. But I, we see, Pastor Rodney, we see so much negativity on the Internet, on Facebook, and you know, emails and stuff. I get so many emails coming at me, so much messages coming at me. You know, so but as, before we get going, if you take a moment and you'll share it on your Facebook so um, we can reach as many people as possible. That's always our goal, to reach as many as possible. For, so if you share, you're just sharing it on down to the, the next person. And So take a moment right now and do that. I've already done it on my phone, and uh, I'm excited that you're here with us. Uh, we see, you know, we got a few people checking in right now, and um, we're excited to have you on with us right now. So, um, Pastor Rodney, tonight, you know, we, we've been we've been talking and discussing about people's attitudes through this whole process. You know, I mean, you know, some people are calm, cool, relaxed. Some people are a little bit more intense. Some people are just flat out crazy. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just. <laughs> Doing the, doing doing the uh, doing life. So um, we want to talk to you today about our attitude, you know, because the Lord has a way that He He really wants us to be, right? I mean, Amen. That's right. He's He's wants us to to literally um, project who He is through us mm -hmm. to this world in these mm -hmm. trying times. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. We're going to talk about Matthew chapter five, verses one through uh, thirteen, the Beatitudes. You know, let our attitude be as the Lord would call us to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to do. So Pastor Rodney and I, we've got it in a couple of versions here. We got the message, we got the New King James. But if you want to turn over in your Bibles with us, I want to get this page up here and going so that I can uh just check in with you and uh see what's up. So um Pastor Rodney, why don't you uh go ahead and read that first verse there and then we'll we'll get into it tonight. Okay, so Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. Let's see here. I'm reading from the was it King James Version. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. He opened his mouth, and he taught them, saying, and this is our first one. This is our first uh Section or uh, what does he hear? Blessed, attitude. Uh, first attitude. Uh, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Well, you know, something I want to point out is we throw that word blessed around and we don't quite know what it means. Well, in Genesis 1 28. God blessed Adam and Eve. Right. He blessed them, saying, so how, do you, how are we blessed by the word of God? Be fruitful. Multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Amen. So that word blessed means he empowered them to do. Right. So here it's saying, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You see how he comes in? So, so they're blessed to obtain the kingdom of God. There heaven. you go. That's it. That is it. You know, I, I love the way the mm -hmm. message puts it because it says, mm -hmm. you're blessed when you're at the end of your rope. Mm. You know, and I, I think a That's lot right. of people are, are at the end of their rope on this, on this uh, stay-at-home order right yeah, now. Yeah, that's a great know? way to describe it, <laughs> at the end of your rope. Yes. You're pulling out your hair, you're, you're you know, they say, that, yeah, they say that uh, um, um, crying, domestic violence has gone up. Because so many people are at the end of their rope. So, you're right. The message translation, <laughs> blessed are those who are at the end of their rope. You know, there's a lot of us out there. Because, you know, and it's, it goes on to say, with less of you, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. more of God in his rule. That's right. So, when I, when I read that, there's mm -hmm. more of God mm -hmm. in his way of doing mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. when, we're, when we don't know what to do. Right, right. When we're at that end. Right. And, and see, and that's where we, we've got to change our attitude to trust mm -hmm. God. Right, exactly right. Your attitude puts God into action, amen. or it sits him down, <laughs> hands off. Your attitude. Yes, amen. 
You see, so you can confess the word and you can speak the word, you can pray, do all these things. If you have a rotten attitude, <laughs> wow. So we need that good attitude. Yeah, we got to have a good attitude. It, it's powerful, amen. The amen. word of God is powerful. It's it really sharper is. than a two-edged sword, yeah. amen. Yeah. It'll cut off those bad right. attitudes that we right. have if we allow if it. If you allow it. If we allow it. If you allow it. Because God is a gentleman. He will not force his ways upon you. Yeah, amen. Yeah, and then he goes on, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Wow. That's awesome. You know, and, and mm -hmm. I'll tell you right now, Pastor, I, mm -hmm. I look at, you know, there's, there's so many things going out on the Internet, like how many people have died from the flu? How many people have died from cancer? How many people have died from AIDS? And how many people are starving to death? Mm -hmm. I, I had a pastor call me from Africa. He said, Hey, one of my members starved to death. Can you help us? Wow. And it's like, wow. That just ripped my heart away, you know? Wow. So, you know, and then they, they say, you know, but, you know, mm -hmm. so many people have died from COVID 19. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't ever want to discount those deaths. Ex exactly. That's right. You know, because right. um, they're real. Right. They're lives. They're people. And, and God blessed loves are them. those who mourn. Yeah. God loves them. Now, the key to this, bless. Are those who mourn. Um, when someone is no longer in your life, um, you miss them. Yeah. Ecclesiastes says there's a time to mourn. But grief, on the other hand, grief, that's a spirit. Grief is a spirit that yes, we should not is. allow. That's something that we should not have. To mourn can be healthy. Yeah. You have to. You, you have, it's a certain time to. Uh, and when you mourn, God shows up. He's a comfort He's you. He's a comforter. Amen. He's, He's a, a comforter. comforter. He's here to comfort right. you. Right. It's, it's not. It, you're not weak because you're mourning. It's, it's not a sign of weakness. You know. And, and then you hear in the message again. It says, "You're blessed when you feel mm -hmm. you've lost what is most dear to you." That's it. That's right. But he says, "But only then you can mm -hmm. be embraced by the one most dear to you." Right. Exactly right. That's you right. Know, he embraces us. I I remember <laughs> losing my mom. Mm -hmm. Oh. I remember right. holding my dad's hand as he died. Mm. Oh, right, man! Right. And many right. members, mm -hmm. I, I've held their hands as mm -hmm. they crossed over to be mm -hmm. with Lord, changed That's right. their address. That's right. You know? Exactly. And, and I, I, and right there, they changed their address. Yeah. So they're not lost. They're not dead. No. They're alive. They, they're alive. <laughs> they just live somewhere else. It's, it's your, whether you have an eternal perspective or not. <laughs> yeah. You know, because when you know you're an eternal being, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I mourn for That's my right. mom because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you missed it. Exactly. You know, but you it doesn't it. stop who I am. That's right. You know, when my mom passed, mm -hmm. she passed on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. I was leaving on Sunday for Africa for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, man. Mm -hmm. My brother's looking at me, and he's like, are you really going to go? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mom told me to go. Amen. Come on. So right. I went. Mm -hmm. And um, God used that. And we saw many people come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, but he was there. That's he right. comforted me. That's good. And he just touched my spirit when I was out there. So I could go with a great That's attitude. Good. That's right. That I wasn't, um, mm -hmm. I wasn't controlled by, by my grief. Mom. By, right, yeah, by grief. By grief. Right. No, yeah. I was. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I still thrived. I still preached. Mm -hmm. I still um, did crusades, yeah. you know. And, and yeah. it was, uh, was it challenging? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. But. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think it's what we let control us. That's right. We have a say. Yes. Otherwise, this whole teaching that he did is for nothing. Right. You have a choice of of the attitude you have. Right. Amen. 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 All right. Why don't you hit number, uh, number three, verse five. Let's see. Verse five. You're blessed when you're content with just who you are. No more, no less. Ha. Man. It says, blessed are the yeah. meek in the King James. Right. right, blessed are the meek. Blessed are the meek. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who always mm -hmm. says, meekness isn't weakness. It's no. power under control. It's power under control. That's right. That's right. You know, so. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. So we walk this earth as conquerors now. We're more than conquerors. Amen. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. But the key is to not represent your attitude but God, the key is to represent God, not your attitude. That's what's key. And it takes some discipline. It takes discipline. 
So meekness, yeah, you, you have the power to do. Right. But you have the, the discipline, the restraint to not. Like when Jesus was on the cross. Oh. You know, he could have called down a yeah. legion of angels yeah, to right. save him right there. That's right. But the, because he was meek and he modeled meekness to us, mm -hmm. he didn't give in to right. what right. his flesh was feeling. Right, right. He held it, and um, thank God he did. Man. Thank God he did. We were, we were oh, redeemed. Yeah, amen. <laughs> we're, we've been redeemed. Thank God he did. You know? Oh, hallelujah. And it hallelujah. says that, that that's the moment you find yourself proud owners of everything that can't be bought. Now, we're reading out the message translation, yeah. so it's, it's opening up. And I always tell everyone, you know, um, you know, study from the King James and then to open up a scripture, right. use the other ones. Um, you know, because, you know, this thing's like. Um, I, I hit like five different. Absolutely. Things, absolutely. Absolutely. So I, I printed out both mm -hmm. for us today. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. But, but you know, yeah. we, we become the proud owners of everything that mm -hmm. can't be bought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think that's. That's what we desire. Everything we can't buy, mm -hmm. um, God gives. You That's know? right. That's he gives right. Gives you peace. Mm -hmm. He gives you hope. He gives you love. You know, we, and, and just joy. You know, that's the key. Is so many people are trying to find those things you just mentioned, Pastor, right, right. in the world. Yeah. They're trying to do it themselves. Man. Yeah. I don't know how people do it on their own without God. Man, I I, I, know his I shiver. I yeah. shiver <laughs> oh, to man. think, man, a, a yeah. day in life without God. There is no life without God. I say that all the time. Right. There's no life without God. Thank you're you. struggling. You're stressed. You're pressured. I mean, this COVID-19, is there, at home on this, on this quarantine, how are you providing for your family? Right. $1,200 they gave, what, a few months ago? <laughs> I <laughs> mean, you know, well, you need God in this world, I tell Amen. you. I tell you. And then he goes on, the next one in verse 6, it says, uh, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, Ooh. for they shall be filled. Mm. I think mm. this is a great season to be hungry and thirsty. Man, right. Amen. You know, that um, great opportunity, great time to be filled yes. with the Spirit. Because yes. I believe, Pastor, when we come mm -hmm. out of this, mm -hmm. there's going to be a, mm -hmm. a move of God like never before. Absolutely. I believe it. Yeah, amen. It's going to be a powerful. What's it say here in the... Um, the message. It message. says, you're blessed when you work up a good appetite for God. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I, yep. I know what it means mm -hmm. to work up a good appetite. You know, mm -hmm. when I work hard and I'm doing physical labor and um, I get done, I'm hungry, man. Right. I'm exactly. ready to throw down a meal, right. you know. Right, and, and when you're doing it in the spirit, man, and mm -hmm. you you get the meal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in you. That's oh, right. it's amazing. That's right. When you get the word, you eat, you taste and see that God is good, amen, and mm -hmm. that he can fill Everything in you that you've been, you know, that your heart desires. That's right. That's God's right. got it. God's That's right. got the answer. That's right. And, you know, so and this is somewhat a little tricky here because it says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, right? Right. So in another verse, it says, as you labor to enter into that rest. Mm -hmm. So when you labor, that's that. Yeah. That's the chase right here. Right. You labor to enter into that rest because that rest is what we're saying here. Right. You will be filled. Amen. Amen. You labor to you go after him. Go after God. And you'll be filled. Amen. That's that rest. Matthew mm -hmm. chapter six. Mm -hmm. You know, just mm -hmm. turning the page in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Matthew six mm -hmm. thirty three. You you probably oh, got come it on. right there. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it says Seek yeah. first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, yes. and all, all these things will be added unto That's you. That's right. But when you read it out of the, um, the Amplified, uh -huh. it says, Seek first mm -hmm. God's way of doing things mm -hmm. and his way of being right, and then all these things will add, be right. added unto you. So we are to seek right. God's ways. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. And he, how he does things rightly. Uh -huh. First. Then, first. First. Not when all. So. Today, Pastor, you know, it, uh, you guys are listening here at home. We have so many businessmen and so many uh, people in this world that don't go to God. They, they pray, oh, has it come down to this? Has it come to this? We have to pray. No, in all your ways, you know, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him in all your ways, right. and he'll direct your path, and then you'll have good success. Right, right. Only then. Only then. But it's not the last resort. It's the first. It's the first. 
It's the priority <laughs> of life. You know, and I, and I believe, right. you know, I know that God didn't create this COVID-19. Right, absolutely not. But I believe that God is using it oh, to absolutely. draw his people back to his attention. Exactly right. That to get their eyes off, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, look at we got our eyes off mm-hmm. of, you know, they cut mm-hmm. basketball season. There was no March Madness. There's no baseball. There's no opening using it, day. Using man. it to refocus his, his people. people. Amen. That's it. You yeah, know? He's doing that right now. Yeah. Yeah. And we got to go with that. Yeah. We got to go with We've that. We've been way focus. too distracted, brother. Yeah. Amen. We've been way too distracted. This world has hypnotized us, has, has lured us away from what we're supposed to be about. Right. I'm talking about the church here. Yeah. You know, those who are in the world, those who don't know God, they're supposed to right. Do a, seek football first on Sunday. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't expect them anything. You, you know, you expect it. But those who are saved, those who know God, those who truly know him and have called upon his name, it's time to refocus. Right. I mean, I, I, I literally, I had this one lady that came to, would come to me at the beginning of football season and say, I'll see you in December. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I was like, really? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I was like, okay, God bless you. You're right, right. I bet you saw her sooner than that, did you? That's you crazy, see? man. There yeah. is no life without God. Right. So you seek him first. Go after him. Hunger, thirst after him. Right. You know, you know I, this is a verse that I brought up, actually, this past Sunday really? at my church. And, and. I told them there's this this is this country in Asia, and they were a, a shipment of Bibles came in. Right. They don't have Bibles over there. Right. They charged this these boxes, these pallets of Bibles. Right. Some took them, put them to their chest, and just in a fetal position and cried. Other ones just couldn't wait to read it and just read it, read it, read it. They are hungering them, thirsting after this. You know, you know, I we were in a in a country one time, and we met some people, and mm-hmm. um, a lady came to my wife mm-hmm. and showed her mm-hmm. her portion of the Bible that she had, just a portion, a, a portion, and she just guarded that. Scripture. It was precious to her, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, guess and, what? She shall be filled. Amen. Amen. And, you know, and because of the, how God has taken Delanda and I mm-hmm. out to the nations, we've been a, allowed mm-hmm. to see people get that Bible for the first well, that's time. Good. That's awesome. Oh, man. To well, witness that is awesome. To, to be the, uh, the distributor yeah, yeah. Of, of Bibles mm-hmm. smuggled into yeah. a country. Oh, my Glory gosh. to God. Oh, is, Rodney. You, you, is there anything better? It's, it's, you know, I look at, you look at, I got a Bible, you got a Bible. Right, right, right. I got another one over right. on the table. I probably got five more up in my office right now. You have literally delivered the world, delivered to that country, the word. Right. And he sent forth his word. Man, right? yes. And he healed them of Man. all disease. Wow. He delivered them out of Glory their destructions. God. Glory to God. We Praise stayed. That, that one was a good, good one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Check your attitude on that one. I tell you. Oh, he, amen. He, but it, says, it finishes. It says he's food and drink and the best meal you'll ever ever eat. ever ever eat. Man. He's food and drink. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. And, and then uh, the next one it says, "Blessed are the merciful, for mm. they shall obtain mercy." Mm. Blessed are the merciful. Our country does not. <laughs> they lacking mercy. On their jobs, um, you know, I used to work construction um, years ago, and you know, they'll they'll hire you off for a phase, uh, two phases, to push it out of the bank's name so they can hurry up and turn them over. After they're done with you, they're done. Yeah, it's no, there's no, no loyalty. No. <laughs> there's no mercy, there's no loyalty. I got a family. I got, got a family. family. <laughs> yeah, a newborn kid. Who cares? You know, uh, it's, uh, you know, this is where us as believers, we can truly be the light. We Amen. can be that light. Amen. You know, it, it, it says here, it says, you're blessed mm-hmm. when you care. That's it. You're blessed when you care. That's right. That's right. You know, when, when, they, mm-hmm. when they're mm-hmm. calling me from Africa, and, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I'm getting calls from all over the world mm-hmm. right now. We're starving to death. Amen. We're starving to death. Mm-hmm. And it's like, Oh man, you know, I told Delanda, I, I, I just sent another 50, okay? I said, wow, wow, you know, yeah, right. And, uh, and uh, people give in the church. Mm-hmm. And so we've been able to buy beans and rice for people and stuff. Mm-hmm. But 
to see, you know, I, I just, I think I sent you some pictures last week of a bunch mm-hmm. of people that had just gotten mm-hmm. bags of rice yes. from our pastors over there. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I looked at the joy mm-hmm. that was on their face. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You are faithful, brother. I tell you, Pastor, you're the most <laughs> faithful person. No, 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 no. I mean, you're not only feeding them the word, but you're feeding them. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, I can't That's, do it without people. Yeah. I can't do it without people. That's right. So see. That's right. You know, so and, this and is good ground. <laughs> I will tell you, this is good ground. So. Amen. Man. Praise God. As we sow into your life, uh, we sow into the ministry. Yeah. And we sow into uh, your, the, the missions that you do. Right. That's our reward, too. Amen. You That's know, our reward, too. This is you're blessed when you care. You're blessed when you so care. at the moment of being careful, mm. you know, F-U-L-L, care. Full, you're uh-huh. full of care. Right, right. You find yourselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. cared for. Right, that's it. That's it. That's it. You know, and so I, I, I know, and, and I've talked about it many times before that when you, when you're sowing seed, mm-hmm. when God gives, God gives mm-hmm. seed to the sower. Mm-hmm. Amen. So mm-hmm. when God that's gives right. me seed, mm-hmm. I ask Him, "How do you want me to sow?" Right, right, right. You know, and then right. we sow accordingly to what that's God right. tells right. us. You know. Well, it's, what's really important is to listen and obey, and that's this attitudes. That's what's important is we can't go off of what we think and how we interpret the, the word in our personality. Because I'm a very go get you aggressive type person, you know. Right. Like, ah, you know, so I can't, I can't interpret the word according to my personality. I need to sit down, shut up, listen, and obey and do what God wants me to do. Right? You know, it, it would be very easy to, to get all political Big time. Right now. Right now. Right. Oh, yeah. Know, oh, yeah. With all that's going on, oh, you yeah. know, with, with uh, everything that's right. out there right now. But you know what? We want to have a show that's not political. But it's oh, kingdom absolutely. minded. Absolutely. It's kingdom minded. Absolutely. That we're looking to the king of glory. Right. Amen. And you know, Jesus is a bipolar. <laughs> that's right. So he won't have someone, oh, God told me to do this and get all crazy. And then another person's, you know, being meek. We need to listen and obey and be on the same page. We're the body of Christ. Amen. He's the head of the church. Yes. But it takes us submitting ourselves to these beatitudes. <laughs> That's what it is. Amen. Submitting ourselves to the word of God. I'm preaching to myself too, yeah, though. I, I tell know, you. I know, man. I know. Because, you know, it's easy to get caught up in everything it going is. around. It's easy to just, it is. you know, to go with the flow. You know, mm-hmm. and, and I, it's, you know, I, I told a group of people the other day, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Mm-hmm. I want to do what God says As- to do. Absolutely. That's all I want, what absolutely. God says. Amen? Amen. Why don't you take verse 8 for us? Verse 8, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Oh, how many of you want to see God? Amen? How many of you want to see God? The pure in heart. Blessed. You're blessed mm-hmm. when you get your inside world, your mind and your heart mm-hmm. put right. That's right. Now, we'll put right. Now, to whose standard? Who's right? God. Come on. God. The Bible. That's the standard it's, that we, which we live. We're not talking about your standard or, exactly. or my standard. That's right. We're talking that's right. about his standard. Not how you feel, not how you think. You know, because there's certain right. things, though, Pastor, mm-hmm. that I may have a higher standard for this right. than I do for this. Exactly right. But Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah. he's, he's yeah. the same all across that's the board. Right. That's right. And, you know, but I may, I may think, oh, this is so terrible over here when, when God is going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, he, he was... Mm-hmm. When you're a kid, mm-hmm. and you and you tell somebody, "Oh, I hate you," right, right, right. What does Jesus say about right, that? Exactly. That's that's like murder. It's like murder. That's right. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. We don't even right. You know, right. We don't. We say we don't think. Well, it's not bad. Exactly. Right. You know, I didn't really right. mean right. that. Right. Exactly. It's just, you know, wow. it's not a big deal. But wow. Jesus is going. Well, that's like committing murder, man. That's when right. You scream, "I hate you!" You're like, right, ah! right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> going ballistic. That's on somebody. right, man. So, mm. you know, his standard is way different than mine. So I've got to mm-hmm. get my heart and my mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. put right according yeah. to his word. Exactly right. So, in other words, Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to this world, oh, amen. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? So that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Amen. And it goes on. It says, in, in verse 8, it says, then you can see God mm-hmm. in the outside That's world. right. That's it. See, when we allow him to That's do the good. work on the inside, That's good. you can see the God yes. in me in the outside. Mm, how many of you guys want God showing up on the outside oh, as you go out? <laughs> oh, 
Yes, Come when on. I'm in the market, when right. I'm in the... Right, yes. right, Oh, hallelujah, I want that. I man. want people to see God. Man. I want them to come and say, hey, what's, right. what's wrong with you, man? What's right. different? Right. You know? I want them to inquire so I can tell them about the That's love right. of God. That's it. Amen. That's what That's we want. It. We man. want to win people to Jesus. That's it. That's the bottom That's, line. That's the bottom line. That's what matters. Yes. You know? Stop being so wrapped up in ourselves and yeah. our desires. Oh, we need this. We need that. It's hard, bro. It, it, don't get me wrong. It is hard, but when we do what God tells us to do, he shows up. Amen. Amen. So it's just not all on us. He's there with us. Read verse 9. For verse us. 9. Ooh. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. <laughs> Can, I say, Can yeah. I say something? So a child of God differs nothing from a servant, though he is Lord of all. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. This is the difference. Amen. Amen. And when you are a peacemaker, that doesn't mean not only are you not causing trouble, but you're bringing peace everywhere you go. Now, how do you bring peace everywhere you go? God. Yes. Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Yes, amen. Hello? We got to walk in Christ. You have to. You know, it, it, it says here in the, in the message, it says, you're blessed when you can show people how to cooperate instead of compete or fight. So now now we're tapping into the wisdom of God. Yeah, amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, we, we lean not on our own understanding. Right. But we get God's view on it. Amen. You know, for the life of me, um, I, did, I, I did not, I don't know how he did this, but remember there were some hostages years ago, and they called Jesse Jackson, and he freed these hostages. I was like, what in the world? Um, how, you First, why'd they call you? <laughs> <laughs> why'd they call you? But he had an answer. And I remember this he says, you know, I just submitted to God on how this should come about, how this should happen. And I was, I was shocked. I was shocked to this day. Because why would they call, well, I mean, Jesse Jackson? For national affairs. Right, right. And I, I didn't get it. Yeah. But God has answers. God gives us, we have a mind of Christ. And he'll give us wisdom. He gives us answers that not be, may not be readily available to the general public. So we, well, we look to him, and he gives amen. us those answers. It, but it, it, there's, there's the promise here. It says, that's when you discover who you really are in mm. your place in God's family. Ooh, that's good. Because I think a lot of people struggle with who wow. they are in God's family. Amen? Wow. And so when, you, when we're the peacemakers, when we're walking mm -hmm. in the peace of God, what, mm -hmm. are, what are our feet shod with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. The gospel, gospel of peace. Gospel of amen? So as we're walking in that mm -hmm. peace, mm -hmm. He says, then we're going to discover who we really are. That's right. In Christ. Well, you know, that's, now you're saying something really big now. Because once you know your purpose, God in heaven backs you. I'll, I'll prove it. The Bible says in Romans, all things, not some things, all things work together for the good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Amen. So it's not, God, just because you're saved doesn't mean, okay, everything's all good. No. You need to love him and be called according to his purpose. He formed you and gave you your assignment when you are in your mother's womb. No. But the devil wants to lure us off, derail us, lure, right. us, lure us off track so that you don't find out what that purpose was. Because if you're a hammer and you're acting as a spatula, you'll never be effective. Right, his, you, right. you can never overthrow the kingdom of darkness with you being a tool out of place. Right. Amen. Amen. So when God created you as a hammer, go hit that nail. That's what you were born to do. That, that's like putting my knee on my elbow, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. It's, it's out of whack. Yeah. You're not effective. But the devil wants you off of your assignment at all costs. And, 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 and you know, when I said that, it just hit me. You know, when, when, if I put my knee on my elbow, you know mm. what else is out of alignment? The, the wrist, the right, hand, right, the fingers. Right. 
So it's not right. just me that, that's, that's right. missing out. Mm-hmm. It's everybody that God intended me to that's work right. with down right. down below is is uh, not in alignment no. either. I, I haven't been effective. We're the body of Christ. Yeah, amen. We're the body. So that means if you're called to be a hand, stop acting like a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Right. Oh, we got a couple more here. Let's see. You're blessed when your commitment to God provokes persecution. Ooh. Okay. So let's let's talk about that. Do you know what how, persecution how, is? Well, yeah, when they come against you. Now it's not those who and it's not those it's normally those closest to you that you're persecuted by. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's usually your account. Amen. The world the Romans didn't care about Jesus. The Pharisees and Sadducees did. Those are the ones who brought persecution against yeah. Jesus. Well, you know, you know, I've, I, I do have the opportunity to go to other countries, mm-hmm. um, and I see what they go through and the persecution that they're under. I mean, one brother, I, I had sent money because, you know, all our orphans in our orphan home, they had to be all COVID tested. Mm. You know, that was they or they shut us down. So we we sent them money and we I said, hey, listen, I just there was a lot of money to, for just COVID mm-hmm. testing. Right, you know, right, so right. I said, I need pictures of this. Right. You know? right. So one of my pastors was there taking pictures mm-hmm. and the police were there to make sure everything went smooth. OK. And they arrested him because they thought they were he was going to try and make the country look bad. And they put him wow. in jail and. And. I mean, the fine was 170 U.S. dollars, which in shillings is was astronomical. Like a lot of yes, money, yes. Man. And I'm like, he's like, Bishop, they gave me my phone. Could you send money, please? They lent me my phone so I could call you. And he's in prison. Wow. He's in jail, and he stayed there for wow. three days. Wow. So they got that money, and then they released him. Hmm. And it's just, you know, we don't know. Lord, we, don't, we don't, I mean, we think we persecuted because they made it shut our church. Right, 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 right. But right. You, you don't know. When, right. When they're, they're arresting you. And, mm. you know, and, and then I, I said, you know, I sent money for the orphans to get food. Well, they pulled him over and they fined him 100,000 shillings because he was out buying wow. food for the orphans. Wow. It's just like, are you kidding me? Mm. You know, so, I mean, I, I know, you know, the, the wow. people... They're not allowed to work. They're not allowed to go out of their house. They're really being persecuted. Wow. wow. Um, so to the point of, like I said, that one pastor called me and said, hey, one of my people just starved to death. Can you help us? Mm-hmm. And it's just like, we'll do what we can. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, that, that's, that's tough stuff. That's, so, that's very tough I mean, stuff. When, when, I, when I look at this, you know, it says yeah. uh, when your commitment mm-hmm. provokes persecution, you know, um, it says the persecution drives you even deeper into God's kingdom. Mm-hmm. And that's, mm-hmm. I mean, that's what persecution is for. Mm-hmm. I've been in countries mm-hmm. where they're arrested and tortured mm-hmm. and um, thrown in prison for mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. to get reeducated, you know. Mm-hmm. And I've worked with people in that situation. Mm-hmm. I've even been on the run from the police. Right, right. They had right. to go into hiding and stuff. Right, I mean, right, it, right. Crazy stuff, right. you know. But praise God, you know. <laughs> you know. Um, and, man, I'll tell you what, man. It, our prayer life, whoop, went exactly, up. <laughs> absolutely. When you're doing the things of the Lord. Yeah. Because what's key here is blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Not yeah. because of your attitude. Not because you're, right, you're a believer right. and you opened your mouth at the, to the wrong person at the not wrong time. you got a protest <laughs> and you got arrested. <laughs> no, that's not it. No. It's for righteousness sake. So as long as you're listening and obeying and doing what God has called you to do, wow, you're covered. You're covered. Amen. He's got you. He got you. He's got you. That's right. So do what God tells you to do. That's Amen. Right. He's got you. That's right. Oh, we're running out of time here, Pastor. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, so persecution, not only that, count mm-hmm. yourselves blessed every time mm-hmm. people put you down or throw you out or speak lies mm. about you to discredit you. So this is the kingdom of heaven. Wow. Oh. That's not fun. No, <laughs> people, I tell you. When people speak lies about you. No. You know, I um, I lived in another country for a little bit, and I had a, a couple from here come and stay with us for a couple of weeks. Mm. And um, they said, you know, Ron, um, this isn't what we expected. Mm-hmm. I said, well, well what would you expect? 
well, we were told you were like this, 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 and this, but you're nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, well, praise God. Mm, wow. <laughs> Somebody had already wow. told them stuff about me and what wow. to expect from me and stuff. And wow. When they got there and they were with me for the two weeks, they were wow. they were like, wow, this is incredible. Wow. Man, He's not a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Wow. You know? wow. So, and, and what it means is that the truth is too close for comfort comfort and they are uncomfortable mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so when we're walking in the truth mm-hmm. just know this you're going to make people uncomfortable they're going to get uncomfortable around you mm-hmm. it's not that they're going to be oh oh exciting here comes the truth That's they're right. going to be like oh here comes that guy well again. just like you said earlier the word is sharper than any two-edged sword right and when you're in intimacy with the word Right. It's going to hurt when you hear the truth. Yeah. You know, if you ain't doing right, it's going to hurt when, when you hear the truth spoken. The key, and we're talking about Beatitudes, the key is to not get upset with them who are doing the talking. Right. Don't get upset with them. Know that there is an enemy that's influencing and giving them those thoughts to say. They don't know any better. You know what you do? Pray for them. Amen. Somebody, Pray for him. somebody challenged me in the midst of all this on, on an issue, mm-hmm. and uh, I just let it go. And, right. and then um, something else came up, and right. and, and I contacted him. He goes, well, I, I thought you'd be mad at me. Right. I, I said, why? He says, well, because of my my responses and stuff to you. And I said, mm-hmm. doesn't mean I don't love you. Right. I'm called to love you. Right, right, right. right. I love you. Right. It's like, oh. Okay. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> you know? Because what love covers, right? It does cover. It That's right. A multitude of sins. Yeah, and right. so, you know, on, on this, I want to be like you, Pastor. Because those troubles, they, those mouths come, this and that, I'm deleting. I, I, I don't, <laughs> get out of it. I don't, I don't need it. I'm on, I'm on way somewhere. I don't need the negativity. I don't need any of that. I just I delete them. But I, I do know this. Mm-hmm. Not everybody wants this. Right. That's right. Not everybody's lining up and knocking down the doors right. to get into the church right now. That's right. Because... When we have to, you know, it's easy to speak to you. You need to adjust your attitude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like you said, mm-hmm. we're talking to ourselves tonight. That's right. That's right. Doing an attitude That's right. adjustment. That's right. You know. Um, Just because you and I are pastors, I mean, we're immune to the things that happen. Right. We have the, the difference is we put this before our eyes every day. We meditate on it and we strive after it. We want to be used by God. God is first. Period. Amen. God is first. Well, Pastor Rodney, I so enjoy our time together yeah, brother, here today, and, and I look forward to doing it again with Amen. you. Amen. But um, I'd like you to pray for all of us tonight mm-hmm. that um, our attitude would, would, would mm-hmm. line up with the word of the God Amen. and that we could, we could get to where we need to be so that Amen. we can effectively reach more people for Amen. the kingdom of glory. Amen. Amen. Okay. Go ahead, Pastor. Well, first, thank you for having me oh, on. Absolutely. I appreciate it. That's, that's awesome. Thank <laughs> yeah. you very, very much. Um, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we first want to thank you and praise you for having us even be born in a country like this, citizens of a free nation. Thank you, Father. We may go through, worship, and read your word unhindered and unchecked. Father, I pray for everyone out there within the sound of my voice that you help remind them of the Beatitudes, the attitudes they should have. Remind them of the promise that you show up when they let go, when they submit to you. Father, I pray that the, that your healing spirit not only heals their physical body, but that torn emotional state they may be in. I ask that you rehabilitate their soul. Make them strong. Father, give us all the ears to hear and words to say to one another, encouraging one another. Father, we want to be vessels that are used by you. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Pastor Rodney. We're so glad that you joined us for this half hour of encouragement through the Word. I pray that our attitudes would all be lining up with the Word of God tonight. 
Join us at 7 o'clock tonight for a prayer meeting. We're going to come. Delon will be joining me, and we'll be praying for you tonight. If you have prayer requests, you can send them in because we just, we just want to pray. We just want to seek God's face, amen? Seek God's way of doing things, his way of being right, and all these other things will be added unto you. God bless you. We thank you for being with us. Have a great night.